Welcome back to Dyson Sphere program, folks. We are heading back to Mushida, and we are almost there. Let's see. Where we have some planets. We have Mushida 2 there. Let's head over here. Stop. And it's actually Mushida 1 that we want to go to, of course. So let's do that. our way. So we're going to set up a bunch of water pumps. I have brought 30 with me, I think. Where are they? Yeah, 30. And some more solar panels. So yeah, we are heading over here. And that looks like the big lake that we want to exploit. And where are our solar panels? They should be here somewhere. There they are. All right. So let's have a look at this. This is a nice big lake. So gathering. Water pump, and we can set up a bunch here. And I want to set up all 30. I just want to get as much sulfuric acid as I possibly can. Go in there. Oh, that was eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Let's head over to the other side here. Can I get a belt out there? No. Here, gathering, and I'll set up here. Go there. Uh, let's get them in. Seven more to go. There. That's 30 extractors. And we can get a lot more on this lake, which is wonderful. Now we need a tower, which will set up. Let's set it up somewhere like here. Tell you to be sulfuric acid. You're going to need warpers. Well, demand. You're gonna need some of these. You don't really need those guys, I don't think. And we actually have warpers coming. We actually have warpers coming. Can we see that? Uh, where is Iota Bootis? Iota Bootis is there. Yes, there it is. There's our first interstellar uh, transport going to another star system. That is so cool. I want to see it come in. There it is. Space Warpers. Coming in. And we have a lot of Space Warpers. Man, that's awesome. 
That is awesome. Okay. Now we need to get this going. We'll come out like that. And go in there. And you can come out. You can all join in on this line. I wonder if they spit out too fast for that in reality. And we'll build here. Go down this way. Second line in there. Like so. And let's actually set up some power so that we know that everything has power once we hook, hook it up to the grid. And then these guys, you can just come out like this. Like that. You can join up there. And we'll get all these going as well. there and then give you some power as well right so and then we just need to hook it up to the grid and for that Solar panels, and I think I'll stick in a few more just to bring them over. And we actually need to go all the way around the planet so that we don't have black holes where we're not producing power. Getting there. Man, we're getting a lot of wonderful soil piles from this. I don't think I brought enough solar panels to go all the way around the planet. Let's do power there. That'll fire up all of those. And we are getting sulfuric acid. You're charging. Let's take a look at a power pole here. So, quite high consumption demand and quite low generation. So, I think I'll quickly get some more going. You know what, let's, uh, let's just go up to the pole here. I don't know if it's north or south pole, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, here. And transportation. And 
we want solar panels, we want um, water pumps. Let's get some belts and some sorters going as well, and some water. And we'll set this to 10%. Uh, we'll storage will demand. Uh, let's do a thousand sorters, two thousand belts, a hundred and a thousand. Remote demand local storage, remote demand local storage. Local storage, remote demand, local storage, remote demand. And we'll stick some of you in. We'll stick some of you in. Yes, they must equip warpers. That's for sure. And we don't actually need these in here. But we're getting some solar panels and some water pumps. I wonder if these are actually in... Here comes the Space Warpers. I think the belts and the sorters are actually in a planetary logistics thing, which is unfortunate. Come down here. There. And here, I suppose, will be fine. I don't think we'll be getting any of this, so I need to fix that back at home on I IOTA Buddhist 3. So that these can please be sent out, because that's practical, being able to just request what you want, uh, wherever you go. So... Let me complete uh, the solar belt here and uh, then I'll be back all right uh, we have our solar belt it is all the way around except for a few places where it conflicted with some ores but we do have it and we are sending uh, sulfuric acid back home. Uh, I actually want this to be at a hundred percent. Because I want them to bring back as much sulfuric acid as they can carry every time. So that will help our uh, titanium alloy production quite a bit. Do these actually produce at one a second? No. Or maybe they do. I don't know. Maybe they just need time to wound, wind up. If they do, then all of these could, in reality, be on one belt. So how is power looking now? It's not... we don't actually satisfy. But once these get filled up, then we will 
And we are getting uh, belts and sorters in now, so that's kind of nice. What if we set this to 500? Stuck some of these in here. And then... Instead of remote demanding them, then we'll locally demand them. Okay. So that's sulfuric acid. Uh, we do also have the kimberlite ore here, but I'm not too concerned about that right now. I think I want to go visit another star system, but which one? Which one? So exciting. Uh, so we have Iota Buddhist there. 27 Doradas. Fractal silicon and optic optical grading crystal. That could be interesting. Kafalitma Kafal is not interesting. Uh, Theta Aquilae is not super interesting either. Algami. We need more universe exploration in order to see those. Let's find another type of star and head over to that. Uh, M type. Uh, notice. So, we, we really want to find a star with high luminosity uh, to build our, um, our Dyson Fear around. Um, so, notice that pretty good. Mass, luminosity 2.027, that's interesting. Mass is a very good can candidate right now. How far away is Mars? 17 light years. That might be further than we can travel right now. Epsilon Cancri. Hmm. There's also... Oh, that's those two. There's a lot of interesting stars out here, B-type stars. So two unknowns. So let's just see of the ones that are nearby. Tegman. They don't have any unknowns, or it doesn't have any unknowns. No. There's a black hole. Cool. There's no unknowns. No unknowns. Alami, no unknowns. Man? Answer, no unknowns. Toliman, two unknowns. What about Mass? Go there. No unknowns. That sucks. Shiliak. No unknowns. Akama. Two unknowns. Right, you know what? Let's. Which one was it that had some stuff? 
I want one with some stuff. It's not Kavalid one, that's for sure. Theta Achilles, just fire eyes. Tolyman has two unknowns. All right, you know what? Let's go to Tolyman. See what that's all about. Notice I got a Buddhist, Theta Achille, Mass, Mass. I really want a pen. Uh, where the heck is Tolyman? Let's see. Solomon is over towards Iota Buddhist. So there's Iota Buddhist. Notice of a Lima answer. Where the heck is it? Tolly man. There it is. Let's pin you. Let's head towards you. And let's go. Seven point five light years. Let's see what Tolliman has. And it's a beautiful game. I am totally in love with this game. Totally in love. Oh crap. Are we not gonna make it? We might not make it. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. 0.74 AU to get there. So I will get there and then I'll be back. Okay, we are almost in Tolyman, and Tolyman has five planets, I think, which is pretty darn cool. So we have Tolyman 2 there, Tolyman 1, and then we have, there was a Tolyman 5, uh, yeah, 3, 4, 5 over there, so I think there's two planets around a gas giant or something. Yep, there are. That is very, very cool. Very, very cool. And a nice bright sun or star. So let's just. Actually, no, let's not land. Uh, let's just. Let's slow down a bit. And we'll find out where we want to land. So, why can't I see what's around here? Oh, okay, okay. So, iron, copper, a lot of copper, silicon, stone, and coal. Not super interesting, huh? Uh, let's just see here. Ooh. 139.73 crude oil a second. Nice! There's also some kimberlite ore and 2.8 million organic crystals. Ooh, I'm happy we're headed to Tolyman. 
46 million silicon ore. Only 4 million titanium. 42 million coal. Two water oceans and this gas giant has fire ice and hydrogen. Okay. Okay. Let's find out where the organic crystals are. Um, let's start over here. I really want to go check this out. Planet Oceanic Jungle. Ashen Galisol. What's that? Oh, there's organic crystal. 889,000 of them. On Ptolemy 4. On Ptolemy 5. We have fire ice. Here we have fire ice and hydrogen. Then I guess on Ptolemy 2 we have organic crystals as well. Redstone, reverse rotation. Okay, cool. Yeah, a lot of organic crystals there and crude oil as well. Uh, don't have crude oil. You don't have crude oil. You have crude oil. No, I I want to check out this uh, oceanic jungle. Ptolemy 4 we want to go to. Where is Ptolemy 4? It's over here. Let's go. Man, I love this game. Ptolemy 4 is there. Let's check it out. Nice blue gas giant. That looks really cool. That looks really cool. Tournament 5 up there and Tournament 4. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Completely different type of biome. Look at those cool trees and big flowers. What's that? plant. Look at that. Man, it's cool. That is so cool. Looks great, doesn't it? And... Wow. Just wow. Wow. Developers, you have done an absolutely astonishingly brilliant job at this game I have to say it's it's magnificent it's absolutely wonderful hats off to you and to think this is still in early access man I don't believe it that is so cool let's see if we can find some organic crystals somewhere Crude oil. Cool, cool. A lot of crude oil around here. Silicon, stone, and copper. Where are the organic crystals? Organic crystals. There they are, and that's all of them. Cool, man. We can get all the organic crystals from here, from these two planets, and significantly improve our production. That is fantastic. We're unfortunately gonna have to terraform a little bit. It's a shame terraforming such a beautiful planet. I don't wanna do that. 
A gathering. Let's set some of these up. They're gonna need power, of course. I think four is fine. Um. Head to the pole here. Transportation. And uh, let's see what kind of power does this planet like? Solar energy is only 75%, wind on the energy is 100. I don't think I want to do that. Uh, we want... Uh, conveyor belts, sorters, miners, and I think that's okay for now. Uh, we also want... Uh, space warpers, 100, uh, remote, demand, actually let's do 500, uh, we want 100 of these, let's say 500 and 1500. Demand, remote, demand, uh, remote, demand, we'll stick in some of you, now I do need some solar power, will we get that here, not really will we, the gas giant is significantly in the way. Look at the, the rotation of the planet, that's pretty fast. Uh, let's see, we'll set up another transportation. Set it up. Yes, here. And you will need deuterium fuel rods. Uh, let's say a thousand. Remote demand. You might need to head home. Uh, you want some of these. Local demand. So you actually need uh, some of these. Oh, Our spa space warpers we already got. Um, so you know what? Let's just let's run a belt. Out here. And we'll set up some of these.
Okay. Let's just take fifteen of these and stick in here. What? Is it the wrong ones? What did I put down? Thermal power stations. Dang it. Let's try it again. Power. Any fusion. Okay, and then we can stick uh, half our fuel rods in here or something. And this doesn't need to be longer right now at least. And then we need to find our organic crystals again. They're right there. Beautiful. power all of them I think it will yes it will and I think for now we just Send them all out here and up and then into, into this tower here. For now. We can change it later. Or do we wanna let let's do it right now. Let's do it right now. So we'll do something like that. And we'll do something like that. That. And you need uh, organic crystals. Hello. Uh, local storage, remote supply. Uh, you need space warpers. Local demand storage. And you need power. You need power! Check it right there. do have enough power, or more or less, but that's just because these guys are charging up. So it's fine. Uh, let's grab those and throw in there. And we can fill ourselves up. Okay. So 
so that's quite nice. And then we can back home set up plastic production. Isn't it plastic that needs it? I don't remember. What is it that needs these? Nope. Plastic is needed to make those. Uh, it, it's, is it one of the sciences? Titanium crystal. Titanium crystal needs it. So we can significantly increase our production of that. It's the only thing that needs it. It's the only thing that needs it. These and titanium. So... I don't think we really have titanium here. Nope, not a drop. What about... We're on Toleman 2. No titanium. Toleman 1. No titanium. Then what little there is must be... on Toleman 5. Yeah, four million. So we could, in reality, exploit Toleman 5's titanium ore, send it over here, and make titanium crystals here and ship them back. That could be a possibility. What's the luminosity of this star? Um, oh, terrible. Okay. Well, are we getting any, uh, no, we're not, we've already used the ones we had, so I need to check if it's not set to remote, back home, or maybe there are no ships, there are no ships. coming. Okay. I'm standing. I'm standing. So I think the next thing we want to do is make green science which actually isn't too bad i think uh, see we need these we are already making those we just need to scale up the production of them quite a bit i think and then we need quantum chips for that we need processors which we're already making but we need to scale that up a lot and then we need plane filters for which we need uh, titanium glass, which we're not making yet, but it's pretty simple. And then we need Casimir crystals, which take titanium crystal. So it's good that we can scale that production up. It takes graphene, and it takes hydrogen. So next time we'll be setting up plane filters and Casimir crystals, I think. Well, titanium glass and uh, Casimir crystals 
and plane filters. Plane filters is only used in quantum chips. Casimir crystals are only used in plane filters. And titanium glass is only used in plane filters. Okay. The quantum chips, though, are used in a few things. Assembling machine Mark III, small carrier rocket, vertical launching silo, and a gravity matrix. Okay. Well, we will take a look at all of that in the next one, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.